Hey guys, B-Man here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. What we have today is my best strategy for you guys to be using, the best one of all of the glitches that are current at the moment for you guys to use and the best way to go about it for you guys because there's quite a lot going around and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are confused on what one you should be using. So this one right here in this video is the best one to use of all of them, guys, okay? This is for solo people as well. The best part about this is it's right next to our uh, uh, ammo box so you never have to worry about ammo all the zombies pile up in one place in front of you you don't have different two different places where they're piling up and all sorts of stuff like that guys and on top of that i've got some extra things to add into this video that extra methods that are going to make this way better for you so with that said get down there if you haven't already smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and let's get on with this guys Okay, for this one, you you need to get to the power room. Just follow those the orange stars on your map. They'll lead you to this point if you don't know how to get to this point. But you need to get to this pack-a-punch room and turn the power on. Once the power's on, the boats will spawn down here. And then you can come over to here. Now, cool thing, guys, you will also, if you want it, for those that don't know, you can use your knife when you're standing in the boats. And yet, whatever direction you're aiming, they will go even up you can make the boats fly out of the map and all sorts by doing what you see right here all you do is sit on the boat and as you see here you just merely with your melee weapon you don't need any perks or anything and the boat as long as the boat's not blowing up you can just fly the boat around you can even use this to go up in the sky and all sorts it's broken but for this we're using it to do this guys but if the boat blows up when you're trying to do this guys don't worry you can still move the boat around you will just have to go and get that punching perk to be able to do it guys but as you see once you get the boat just right here it's the best place to do it it's really good really easy and simple to put it here and there's an ammo box right there but guys if you have trouble getting it there without the boat blowing up and the boat blows up just come by this perk and then with this perk and with your gun out not with a melee weapon you punch and you can punch the the blown up boats and into position and position it that way guys it's just that simple and putting it in this corner is so good because there's an ammo box right there and everything guys it's just perfect so with that said and the cool thing on top of this an extra tip for you guys that i've found out is using the sentry gun guys because in the later rounds sometimes you'll get the odd mangler or things that will walk over the boat but if you've put a sentry gun here it has like a hit box that blocks them being able to walk around it so that does not happen sentry guns last the entire round they also destroy zombies, making you be able to kill them faster, get way more medals and more XP and everything, guys. And as you see here, in between rounds, you can just run up to this thing, buy yourself a sentry, and then go back down and put it up on the, ba on the boat for the next round. You get so much salvage from each round in the later rounds that the the cost of them is no problem and you get they drop them as well and everything guys this is absolutely awesome so with that said use sentry guns when you're in here in the later rounds not in the early rounds you won't have enough salvage for it but after you've got your gun powered up use sentry guns because why not you've got nothing else to spend the salvage on now lastly guys another tip that i just found out today is this right here guys your energy mines go and upgrade the augments of your energy mine and upgrade it to to the point of it becoming a turret then it just makes your life so much easier on the bug rounds you can just stand there and the and the energy mine turret will take care of all the bugs shoot them out of the sky and the most broken thing about this is the amount of time that it lasts on the map it can last for multiple light rounds and all sorts it's absolutely awesome so get in and try get the energy mine too if you haven't already so with that said guys this is the glitch it's perfect and it's perfect for everything get your camos xp absolutely everything have dead wire on your gun so you can actually get even more my um more metals coming through because dead wire kills bigger groups faster and everything and you'll just pour and be laughing this is the glitch to be using out of all of them guys don't worry about no target god modes or anything this one's so easy it's so good it's just nothing else can beat it so with that said smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and keep being awesome thank you guys for watching my videos and i'll catch you on the next one b man <laughs> out check this out our energy mine 
actually just got us another energy mine from its blast. Look at all those rewards. <laughs> Smash that like button.